So let's do some fitting of equations in Excel using a linear equation. Now this is t, this is v, and we want to plot t divided by v against v. So let's make a column here, t divided by v. And then we say that this equals t divided by the volume that passed through. And let's fill that in. And uh, let's say that we want to have the intercept and the slope. So there is a function called intercept and known wise that is those things there. And the next thing is the known axis. And that's that thing there. Oops, sorry. Uh, that thing there. And the slope is similar. Uh, you say known y values. Now the problem with Excel is that things are called different things in different languages for some strange reason. So if you have the Swedish version, you have to look up what the slope is called in Swedish, or if you have the German version or the French version or whatever. Okay, so these are our two. That's a uh, slope uh, there, and that's the intercept. Let's plot this and see what it means. The uh, TV predicted by the model. So that should be uh, the intercept plus the slope times the x value. And we add some dollar signs there to make sure that it uses the same values over here for each. So we can just fill in, just double check that this one uses these two values and the value over there. And you can see here uh, some differences, but let's let's plot this. So we insert a plot, and we do an x y. And now we'll just fill around with this a bit. Uh, this line here that's our uh, measurements. I don't want a line between those, and perhaps I want the marker to be a bit bigger. Let's see, marker options, uh, use a built in and then increase. That's oops. Let's use the axis. Yeah. And the other one there, uh, that's uh, no measurements. So I don't want any markers there. No markers. Yeah. So that's our fitted line. and. And you see that this first one is a bit of an outlier, but otherwise the slope is pretty good. In Excel, you can use other methods uh, to fit any equation you want. Uh, so let's say that we have here an A and, and, and a B. And uh, let's guess A as uh, Seven, oh, 85 and B as 100 uh, and then add a few columns here. Okay, so uh, let us now say in my model uh, T divided by V. Uh, so let's say that our model is A plus B times this thing here and add some dollar signs that it takes the same values there all the time. So now I actually wrote in a linear equation here. Uh, fine. Uh, I could have used any equation uh, in Excel, but I happen to write a plus uh, b times something. And uh, if I now want to fit an equation using the least square method, I take uh, the error here, uh, error squared. But that should be my module, module value minus the actual vol uh, value, and then that squared. And then I can 
fill that in. Uh, uh, then I can write here sum of error uh, squared. That's the sum of this column, right? Now Excel doesn't come with this uh, as default, but you can add uh, analysis tool and solver tool. And when you do that, you get a solver in here. So let's use that one. And uh, our objective uh, that's this value here, the thing in there. And we want to take the minimum there by changing uh, what's in these two cells. And um, let's click solve and see what happens. It takes a while. And then it says solver found the solution. Uh, keep solu solver solution, yes. And you see that these values here are almost exactly the same as the ones there. But the nice thing with this one is that you don't need to linearize uh, your equation. You can actually fit any equation to your measurements.